my friends, and welcome to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. If you are new to my channel, hi, hello there, welcome. My name is Jessica, and I love playing video games. I do post a new Let's Play video every single day, seven days a week. My current bi-weekly series, which goes up every Tuesday and Saturday, is The Outer Worlds. And starting today, my five-day-a-week series will be Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. And if you do end up liking what I do here, I hope you will consider hitting that subscribe button, following me on Twitch as well as Twitter, and sticking around for all my future gaming adventures. Now that all my shameless plugs are out of the way, back to Mass Effect 2. Now this is my first time playing the Mass Effect series. I did just wrap up the first game yesterday and will include a link to that playlist below should you wish to catch up on my previous story decisions. That being said, I do still request no spoilers in the comment sections without spoiler tags, and preferably spoiler tags where I have to use the drop down read more option to see it. I do read and more often than not like and comment back on my comment section, so any spoiler tags would be very very much appreciated. Also, spoilers should apply to alternative choices just in case I do decide to replay the games on the YouTubes in the future. I just I just want to be spoiler free, please, please, please and thank you. <laughs> and also, while I do appreciate any tips and or tricks you may provide, please no flaming if I do not make your preferred decisions. I do on occasion <laughs> like to make my own choices, even if they are quote unquote, the bad ones. And, and also just another heads up, if you are new here, I do tend to take my time on first playthroughs, which means I do try to do every quest, talk to everyone, explore everywhere, read quest entries, journal entries, any and all sorts of entries. I also tend to loot excessively, do quests out of order, and on occasion make controversial decisions. So in summary, I'm slow, I do things wonky and I make poor decisions. So there's there's that. So let's see, I think the final item of note is that I have preemptively attempted to adjust the in-game sound, but I may need to adjust as we go, depending upon how loud the dialogue turns out to be in relation to the music and all the sound effects that are no doubt going to happen. So I think that's everything, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so extras covered, uh, achievements, which I haven't looked at, and all the options for all the gameplay, which I said I've, hopefully, yeah, I've calibrated down the sound effects and music volume, so hopefully that will be enough. But let's go ahead and start a new game. And I'm gonna import my ME1 character. Level 55 doesn't seem right, but let's hope it works. Combat difficulty, you guys said to bump it up to veteran. Ugh, hardcore, insanity, no thank you. You said to bump it up to one more higher. Cause I normally play it normal. But you said because I'm importing in from Mass Effect 1 and have all kinds of gear and levels, veteran is the preferred one. Uh, I'd want to level up myself, subtitles on, squad power usage on and auto save on. Okay, so let's, let's try it. So my name is Jessica Shepard. My rank is 55. I'm a soldier. A Paragon Commander Shepard followed the Paragon path. Mostly. I did have a, a hefty amount of Renegade, I think, at the end. Rex survived the mission on Vermeer. Caden was killed on Vermeer. Yes, he was. The council was lost during the attack on the Citadel. And I did give my the seat to Captain Anderson because the ambassador's a jerk. I'm still sticking to that. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still it's not enough. We're at war. 
No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth? We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help, even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero, a bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly- It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! Holy crap! Shepard! Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? Uh, this is not a good start already. Uh, they damn well better be here. Uh, I'm not doing this just so they can find our frozen corpses. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't abandon ship. I'm not leaving either. Uh, there's no time to argue. You need to just go. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Commander. Ashley, go. Now. Aye, aye. Everybody in. Go, go, go! Of course he does! 
why, why, why would he want to do such mayday, a thing? Mayday, mayday, This is SSB Ooh. Normandy. Uh, this way, maybe? We've suffered heavy damage from an unknown enemy. Uh. Come on, baby, hold together. Hold together. She's not holding together. Ooh, I like the sound effects they're doing right now. It's kind of awesome. Wow, this is... Okay, it's horrible, but it's kind of cool, right? <laughs> oh, there's a little force field going on there. That's cool. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. No, you can't. You can't. Don't, don't be stupid. The Normandy's dead, just like us if we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. They're coming around for another attack. That was a, um, that was, that was a, that was a really good beginning. <laughs> Although I think Shepard might have died. Uh, Mass Effect Genesis is an interactive comic that summarizes the events of Mass Effect 1. Would you like to review the story so far? Well, sure. Let's see what this looks like. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. <laughs> it's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make. The paths you choose. That turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission. Answering a distress call. And look where that got me. Yeah. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Alenko. Good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams, a soldier to the core, tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive. Scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Lieutenant Alenko made the mistake of getting too close. It hit him with some type of energy. 
I grabbed him and threw him out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Hmm. Anderson came along. So did Udina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Udina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite specters could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof, which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest-looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led us to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she procured some information on Saren. <laughs> evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, and disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace that they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions, but not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat. But they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I'd need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species, Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the Beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new... appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. <laughs> Caden was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I decided discretion was the better part of valor, and kept my focus on our goal, finding Saren. I did. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead, Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved the queen of a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni queen. Queen's drones were everywhere, and they were not happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone, with the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni Queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. 
I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the Queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer. But we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the Genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed, violently. Rex wanted the Genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split my team into two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign, the Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he'd found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence. But he was kidding himself or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran, leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried, but it wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Caden was a good man and a great soldier, but I had to choose, and I chose Ash. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then. The next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. I'd never tell anyone, but I had my doubts. Leaving Caden behind had hardened my resolve, but revealed a weakness in my defenses. How many more friends and allies would I be willing to sacrifice in order to stop Saren? We arrived on Ilos close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago, and every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died like every species before them, but a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to Dark Space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope that the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Council fleets battled Saren's army outside the Citadel, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. 
Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them I would have to put our Human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council could be replaced. The fleets were needed here and now if we were going to defeat Sovereign. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left to me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician, ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be placed before him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier, tough but fair, but a friend and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned cleanup duty, routing out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. <laughs> Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Well, <laughs> someone's bringing Shepard back to life, it seems, which kind of would need to happen considering she's supposed to be the main character in this game and one other, so that just makes the most sense. And let's just have a moment. I really liked the Mass Effect graphic novel comic summary. It was, I, I really liked it. It was really well done and it was all accurate. So <laughs> that's, that's a good thing. My import did work correctly. So facial reconstruction, choose the default or custom procedure. I think I'm going to accept my imported face because I spent enough time in the first game getting her to look just like this, that it's only fair she stay the same. Choose class enhancement procedure. Oh, I could switch if I wanted to. Well, I'm probably going to want to stay soldier, but let me just reread it. It says high level operatives are outfitted with ocular synaptic processors that allow them to focus on targets with lethal accuracy. Power training, adrenaline rush, concussive shot, weapon training, assault rifle, shotgun, sniper rifle, heavy pistol, ammo training, incendiary cryo and disruptor. Soldiers are pure combat specialists. No one is tougher or more effective at taking down enemies with gunfire. Soldiers have the most thorough weapons training and can use all special ammo types. I really did like playing a soldier being like the tank of the group and having my companions kind of do their biotic magic around me. So I think I'm just gonna stick with what I know. Colonist, I was ruthless and I am a soldier. So profile register complete, click accept, clicked accept. 
let you process words. Once you confirm your character is complete, you will be unable to change any settings. Well, it's fine. I hope. There, on the monitor. Something's wrong. She's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Scat's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Finish. Okay, okay, hang on. Renegade. <laughs> a lot of renegade. A lot of Aragon. Okay, hang on. Please hold. Please hold who's speaking. Um, journal. Prologue. Awakening. You've regained consciousness in some kind of medical facility. You must find your way to safety. Complete tutorial. <laughs> Finish the training to prove you're ready for active duty. Um, uh, I'm just get, we'll look at all the rest of it later. Get a pistol from the locker. Okay. You Lock don't here. have time to wait around, Shepard. Grab your weapon and armor. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from... Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get behind cover now. Keep your uh, head down, Shepard. Oh, there we go. Shield yourself from the blast. What oh, crap? Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Hard to reload. Oh, I get them reload. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Can I save? Okay, we are saving. Just on the other side of the screen. Hold the W spacebar to vault. Look out! Okay. Keep moving. We need to get you to the shuttles. Oh, 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 okay. I'm. Oh my gosh, where is it? Oh, I don't have a map? What? Do I have like unlimited ammo? Like how does this work? <laughs> well, there's ammo. Oh, my full? Okay. Don't waste time. I can't keep the mix distracted for long. 
Okay, um, everybody's dying, though, lady. More reinforcements heading your way. Here come the mechs. Use Left the grenade. Shift, uh, grenade launcher. Um. Okay. Launcher to take the. Hold the right bounce button. I've seen it. Take the elevator down one floor. That, I'm not gonna lie, that's awesome. <laughs> Hurry, get to the door, run! W and hold space bar, okay! People firing. Firing? Who's who's firing? Hostile forces have engaged. Oh. 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 Cerberus. I did hear that right in the opening cutscene, like the first of like twelve. <laughs> Cerberus laptop. Access data logs. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional, and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. I gotta say, from Mass Effect 1, Cerberus was not the people you want to end up with, I don't think. Wall, wall save. Open. Hang on, let's save. Open. Oh, I just got money. That was easy. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. Uh -huh. They probably did it from illegal experiments or other illegal things. Oh, this is so not good. Shepard, where did we end up? Like, thank you for raising me from the dead, but like, you're not nice people. Uh, that's where I came through. I did, hang on, sorry. I have to be thorough. I just want to double check. And we did that one. We, we did that one. Same one over there. Okay. Like from the cutscenes, it looks like they were putting like implants in my body and oh, that bothers me. There's a run in the Okay. Public computer access data log. Log update. I can't figure Miranda out. Project director, she should be ecstatic at all the progress we've made. But she's still the same old ice queen. Maybe she's worried Shepard might become a new favorite. Or maybe she is just a pure cold hearted bitch. Okay. Those are really big robots. Where am I? <laughs> Charge him up! Have a nice trip! Merciless make 20 enemies scream. Attack! What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Yeah, who are you? Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Uh, why are they attacking? I'm tired of taking orders. Just, yeah, can we have just a few questions? <laughs> I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. Two years? 
Where's here? This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Awesome. What, and what about my crew? Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? Oh, I have so many questions. So apparently I died. Like, I imagined that's what would happen. And based on the cutscenes, that's what they were doing. But, like, what's Shepard's injuries? You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting-edge technology. Cutting edge technology? What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details, you'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. It's pretty, he's pretty sure I'm not a clone. Pretty sure, that doesn't make me feel good. My armor is awesome to me though, by the way. So, so awesome. <laughs> Project Lazarus? What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. Uh, attack on the station. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Dan Fino. I was getting ready for some shut-eye. Then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. Yeah, that makes most sense. My crew. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. Aww. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. How about Rex and Garrus? Did they make it too? Where are they now? Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. Yeah, I, I, I want to find them. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Oh, well, we're getting off the station. Like, that's not an option. So, Jacob. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. <laughs> Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. <laughs> and Miranda? When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? Well, it didn't sound good. There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. All right, well, let's get out of here. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind, you need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. 
Who's that guy? I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on, the service tunnels are this way. He doesn't sound like he wants to answer directly to Miranda. Just putting that out there. What's this? Log update. The Lazarus Project is about to enter the final phase. It's taken nearly two years, but we did it. Commander Shepard is alive. This is the most amazing medical achievement in recorded history. Maybe now Miranda will finally show some appreciation for everything I've done. I'm gonna go probably not. Okay, well, let's go a little, let's save and go a little bit farther. Trouble coming! Damn it, Wilson. This room is The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. That's a nice trip. Have engaged. Wilson, find us another route out of here. Preferably one that doesn't lead straight into an enemy squad. Just keep moving toward the control room. Don't get pinned down. I'll see what I can look at. They found me. Help! Wilson, where are you? Server room B! Hurry! They're nice. out of control! Okay. Up those stairs, Shepard. Oh god! I'm hit! They shot me! I know I need to go save him, but like, there's things. Physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions. Our orders were clear. Make Commander Shepard who she was before the explosion. The same mind, the same morals, the same personality. If we alter her identity in any way, if she's somehow not the woman she used to be, the Lazarus Project will have failed. I refuse to let that happen. I do like the hologram uh, entries I've got going on. That's kind of cool. All right, let's save. Shepard! Down here! Bastards got me in the leg! I remember you, Wilson. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Okay. Well, left shift, access or command, and then it said Unity. Unity revives any wounded fallen squad members. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? Yeah, I don't trust any of you guys. But I'm just putting that out there. I don't know you. You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, and then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Because she tried to help me, maybe, maybe not. Either way, we can't help her. I mean... I don't know her from these guys either, but she did wake me up and try to get me to safety. Or to get get me to go to her to be safe. But we're, we're gonna obviously try to rescue her, because my shepherd's not a completely evil person like you Cerberus people, apparently. Although they are bringing me back to life, so there's that. I just... Really? Cerberus? Really? Really? <laughs> Then why did she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... Awesome. Overload canisters to 
clear a path to the shuttles. Hold left shift to access your command menu for the overload power. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was nice. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? <laughs> this really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Yeah, that's, that's never heard of them. Of course we've heard of them. And, and this isn't a surprise. You guys labeled all your stuff, so... That sounds familiar. It, it is familiar. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. We did. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. The elusive man, is that Martin Sheen? I recognize his voice real easy. Elusive man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. <laughs> Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. I don't know if I'll never work for Cerberus because they did bring me back to life. Um... But he better have answers. We're gonna go with that one. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to tell you whatever you want to know. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. The codex entries. Anything else? Plus two renegade already. <laughs> oh, but Paragon. And I lost the Metagel. And I gained a metagel, and okay. Well, I think we're going to take the opportunity to pause now, because who knows when the next opportunity will be. So on Wednesday, we'll pick back up here, hopefully escape the robot-filled uh, space station, find Miranda, talk to this elusive man, and figure out what the heck is going on, because me being me has obviously lots of questions. <laughs> and then, as usual, go from there. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again on Wednesday with another new Mass Effect 2 video.